Uh, uh, Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 449. It's Sunday, January 20th, 2013, 12 p.m. Pacific Time. Internet talk radio for your imagination. Mike Matthews broadcasting from the last place on earth, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California. Today, we hear from Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, John Deere the Engineer. Plus, we bring you the return of the much loved segment, Kathy's Corner, with my neighbor from down the street, Kathy Spade. Mike's Daily Podcast. And if you're trying to eat healthy and eating quinoa, here's some information that you might hate. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, now, since people are eating it in America, the prices have gone up in Peru and Bolivia. It was once their staple food, which nobody knew that except for in trivia. Now, you know what their staple food is? They're eating junk food. Oh, that's great. They're eating unhealthy down there, and we're up here trying to watch our weight. It doesn't make any sense. And this is all happening while there's still a lot of Americans that call it Quinoa. Mike's Daily Podcast. That's how people mispronounce that grain. And Arnold Schwarzenegger's comeback movie, The Last Stand, is in pain. Mike's. Because it only made Daily $6.3 million podcast. in its first week. Yeah! One of the worst debuts. For Arnold. Oh, look, I just walked in. Hello, my God, it's Dolly. Too hard to get the supervisor. Arnold Schwarzenegger scares me because he had an affair with his housekeeper. And they had a baby. They had a boy. Yes, they did. But yes, Arnold will try to make a cover. You know, people are going to like Arnold no matter what. If they loved his old action movies. But really, come on. True Lies. Total Recall, Terminator. Hey, they all started with T's. Those were his big movies. People will never forget him for that. Kindergarten Cop. That was pretty good. Twins! Oh, I forgot the other T. Okay, my God, you know, it's like you're speaking some foreign language to me. I know. Look who else just walked in. Hello, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, we really enjoy quinoa. Really? How do you make it? We like to put a little bit of chicken broth in it. Okay, well, by using the chicken broth... You are causing prices for chicken to go through the roof, and people are getting poorer because of it. I thought it was because of the quinoa. Yeah, that too. Everything you eat, the prices go up and cause poor people to get even poorer. What you were saying in your opening song was that people are eating more junk food in the countries that quinoa is made because they can't afford the quinoa anymore. Yes, that's right. Junk food is ruling the world. So my good news. Should we eat more junk food and then they'll eat more quinoa and they'll get healthy? I don't know. I'm confused. It's a weird social dynamic. Uh, global dynamic, I mean. All I know, Mike, is that quinoa tastes really weird to me and I don't like it. But John Deere the Engineer makes me eat it because I'm Floyd the Floor Man. You always told me that you liked it. I lied. All right. Well, so much for that, Mike. Maybe we should just start eating grass like cows do. Just because it won't hurt anybody grass just grows everywhere we eat that nobody else in the rest of the world gets hurt but only grass didn't taste like crap well your opinions comments on quinoa or anything else you can email me mike's daily podcast at gmail.com we'll read your emails on the segment emails from email we also have that email there if you'd like to be a guest on the show or if you'd like to sponsor the show we have an availability for you mike's daily podcast at gmail.com and check out the wondrous website mike's daily podcast.com that's where you can go to find out where to find us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, Yelp, as well as where to find us on iTunes so you can subscribe to the show. And if you do that, then more people find out about us and the world becomes a better place. Although we all have to stop eating quinoa now and eat more potato chips. I can go for that. Yay! Uh, or you can check us out on the internet radio band on knjoradio.com that's right we are now heard daily at noon 3 p.m and 6 p.m there i used to work at knjo in thousand oaks in the early 90s and now you can hear this show on knjoradio.com all that information there at our website mikesdailypodcast.com as well as the blog the Mike's Daily Podcast.com blog. Kathy's Corner. Da, 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 da. Kathy's Corner. Hello. Good morning, Kathy Spath. Good morning. Good morning. 
It's Kathy's Corner. It's Gary. Welcome to my corner. Come on in. I just uh, finished making some blueberry pancakes for breakfast, and <sighs> my family's eating them, and you're, I made some extras if you'd like to join me. Oh, yay. Let's join her. Mmm. Mm. Blueberry pancakes and, and some nice um, um, maple syrup, and, and, of course, you've got to have extra butter <laughs> on <laughs> Kathy's Corner. <laughs> Yay, extra butter. A lot of butter. At Ka- so much butter at Kathy's Corner, we kind of slip out of the corner. It's every- well greased with all yeah, the butter. Yeah, Oh, I love the blueberry pancakes. Mm, me too. It's kind of naughty, but delicious. What possessed you to make blueberry pancakes today? Um, Because my husband was sleeping in, so I thought it would be nice when he woke up that he would have blueberry pancakes. Aren't I a good wife? You are. Wow. <laughs> I applaud you. Men, men love the blueberry pancakes. Uh, everybody loves the blueberry pancakes. And Fiona had some blueberry pancakes, too, and she liked them. And then she threw some on the ground for Keegan. <laughs> she, you know, she thought he might like them, too. <laughs> even at that young age of one year and one month? Yep. She is, is so considerate to... Dogs and and the animal kingdom. You know it's true. One day I looked over and she because I was kind of cooking while she's eating because she's sort of strapped in there, so it gives me a chance to like you know cook. So I, I was cooking up some eggs for her or something, and I look over and Keegan's eating some banana straight out of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> and Keegan is a golden retriever. And that, yes, that dog. Very good. He he hit the jackpot when you had that baby. Yeah, he didn't know. You know, before she was born, we didn't feed him any human food except for, like, carrots. (laughs) (laughs) And then um, he didn't realize when we brought her home that in six months, Fiona was going to be his new best friend. (laughs) Wow, Basil the Boxer is here, and I think he's looking at me going, come on, have a baby. I want a lot of people (laughs) food. (laughs) Have a baby, you are. (laughs) I want a baby to throw stuff on the ground so I can eat it. And just hand me food. Yeah, it's pretty exciting for dogs. Um, you know, they're just like the little cleaner uppers. And you can't, I mean, it's the best thing, too, because then you don't have to get out the vacuum cleaner. You don't have to get out the mop. It's just clean. <laughs> yeah, dogs have that amazing tongue capacity. Just it's sweep great. it all up. <laughs> yeah, and then, so I'll pick her up and take her out of her high chair. And that kind of, like, crosses the line at... Not having the dog clean up like out of the actual seat of the high chair, oh, but yeah. I'm like, hey, it's fine because <laughs> I don't want to clean that either. So it's great. <laughs> I guess the only thing was, see, dogs can't have chocolate or garlic. That's true. One day, Keegan got into a whole bunch of fudge, and uh, we oh. made our way to the emergency room where he had the like doggy epitaph or whatever it is where they make him throw up. It was. It was oh so boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's people forget that, but that's kind of important. But Fiona is so cute. I saw her yesterday. We took uh, uh, Keegan and Fiona and you and your husband. We all met at this park nearby this school. And uh, well, actually, technically, you're not supposed to have a dog at the school. But it was the weekend. Shh. Shh. Nobody knows this. <laughs> It's a rule. It's a, you know what? Everybody brings their dog to this park and nobody, it's all right. There's no kids. I think as long as we clean up the poop, it's because you don't want some kid running into a big pile of poop you don't clean up after. I got yelled at by a parent once because I was, yeah, I was there with Basil and they're like, you know, there's dog parks in Castro Valley. (laughs) Oh, you mean the ones that might. The ones that my dog gets attacked at? Yeah, those are great dog parks. I love those. Yeah, those with those mean people that just sit there and watch their dogs attack you. (laughs) That happens. All I was talking about that on a previous podcast. That like, actually, the one the dog park that has like a hill. The is it fair? I always forget the name of it. It's the one behind the elementary school down the hill. The right? No, the one near Lake Chabot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one over there. Mm-hmm. So that one, you actually have to walk up a hill to get into the park. And I think that makes a lot of uh, dog owners that would go to the dog parks not go because that's that requires work. Yeah, I don't think I've actually been to that one. That might be a good one to go to. 
Because once you get to the top of the hill, you have a beautiful view of the Bay Area. You can see up into Oakland, and it's, it's quite a sight. Oh, actually, no. I have Matt and I walk around there even before we had a dog. That's a great, great one. Because then it's got the, all the row of trees that looks out over towards San Leandro. It's nice. But, it is nice. But we had fun yesterday, and your baby is so cute. And she's is she technically a baby still? I don't under, I don't know all the well, terms. Well, I think she. I, Matt and I were discussing the, the different stages of you know growing up. Because you start out as like a, a newborn, and then you're an infant, and then you're a baby, and then you're a toddler. But there's like this area in between a baby and toddler because she is walking, and theoretically, when you walk, you're toddling because you toddle around. Oh and yeah. You're not really very stable. Um, but I think she's sort of like a pre-toddler because she's not, she still has some baby tendencies. She walks so but well. She walks pretty well. Yeah. She's, and, and she's always smiling. She's a good smiler. She's pretty happy and she's been a little bit of a runny nose, but then she wants to be happy and wants to have a good time. But then she's like, no, I'm stuffed up and annoyed. <laughs> Oh boy, it's a, so she that she does that when, when she gets stuffed up, then she uh, her mood changes and does she and she becomes uh, angry like a Hulk, no, like no. a little Hulk, <laughs> like a little, a mu- little a mucus, Arr, baby smash, <laughs> a booger Hulk. You know, it gets all <laughs> trapped in her sinuses and she's. Uh, she's she still wants to have be nice, but she's she just. Every you know, she'll play, 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 and then be like, "Wow, I'm upset. I have a runny nose." Then she'll go back to giggling and playing. So, wow, I, I think we're pretty lucky with the whole baby thing. She's she's a pretty good baby. You guys are so much fun, and your your baby's amazing. And then we enjoy talking to you and playing uh, the wonderful video game called. I forgot the name. Buzz. All of a sudden, <laughs> it's Buzz. Buzz. I was gonna say Flash. That game Flash. <laughs> that's a different game. Whoa. That's a different game. We have to go to New Orleans for that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that game. Maybe that's something you can play at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz Buzz is a bu- you have a buzzer and you uh it's like a trivia game, but it's a video yeah. game. And and then you there's like a guy, like a little British guy, and he asks you questions and it's fun. To compete. Yeah, it's cool because you can have four people play it. So it's a PlayStation 3 game with four people. I think so we, need to, for, we need people over. We need to turn off the 80s music category because that seems to come up a lot. And then I end up winning. And I, I feel kind of pathetic that I know so much about the 80s music. But, but, you know, it's funny because you say that and then sometimes you don't get the questions right. And oh, that's I true. think you kind of like selectively forget those moments. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, I used to sit in a tiny room and in the 80s, and there'd be 80s music playing all around me. And in a very, you know, repetitive, they played every, like, two hours the yeah. same song. So it got drilled into my head. So, it is kind of like your job. It's, I mean, and that's like when they ask the tech questions on there, or like the yeah. geeky nerd questions. So I'm like, well, I kind of have a... A leg up with all the hours of Star Trek I've watched. <laughs> and Kathy Spath is a I. You're what do you technically call yourself? You're a technical person with technology. What like my title? Yeah, is it? Is, I'm a coordinator for desktop computing. Wow! So you know computers. You've given me advice on my computer. Yeah, I do desktop stuff. So the actual practical, like, install the computer and put on the software and troubleshoot problems and explain to people who don't know how to use technology, technology things in a nice way that doesn't make them feel bad about themselves. That is not <laughs> easy to do. That is not... It's an important skill. Because my feelings get hurt really quickly when I talk to, especially John Deere, the engineer, the things he say, says to me, he really upsets me all the time. So, well, a lot of times technical people have this sort of presumptuous attitude that, like, they know everything and you don't, and I think that's silly. But you are uh, wondrous to talk to, as is your husband, who's also, uh, he's an engineer, and you guys are really easy to talk to, and I never have my feelings hurt. Uh, that's good. That's good. And then... I don't like to hurt people's feelings. That's, that's mean. <laughs> 
but that it, it is a a a, a very t- uh, fine line because you 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 are f- possessing quite a bit of information in your brain, and then you're talking to people like me who don't. Have-